Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast. Back at you with another other video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Today, I'm going to be animating myself. I'm going to be doing it in a slightly different animation style than what I'm used to. I'm going to be getting into the drawing, the inking, the coloring, and the animation. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everybody, what is up? I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm gonna be animating myself. I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different than the traditional story of Trey animation that I'm used to. I'm just gonna start from scratch and make my own me. Oh yeah, so let's just dive into it. I might start with the circle for the head so I can have an idea of how to make it different. Because I'm doing something different and I'm not used to this kind of style. Drawing circles is a great way to start developing parts of the character. Yeah, I just draw the face, take out the more detailed features, and a circle-y thing. That's from Spongebob. I'm gonna draw a circle right here and take out these lines. Maybe I'll oval it like this. So now we go like that. I'm gonna take out this now. This is gonna be a completely different art style, I think. Do not know where to go. I was trying to think of a video idea and I'm like, why don't I just animate myself but make it like a new art style? If you wanna work on making it symmetrical, you can draw these lines right here. So I, I'm gonna draw like this to understand where the eyes are. So I learned it in art class. I just heard this somewhere. Draw the eyes. Think about having an eye in the middle like that. This is a completely different art stuff. No, oh, it looks terrible. Well, let's just start. I'm not gonna draw the pupils inside. I'm gonna do that in a different layer. That. Go like that, that looks better. If there's a part on the face that moves, like the eyeballs, which move, or the eyebrows, then you put it in a different layer. I'm gonna draw the hair now. There you go, that looks better. Bangs, right here. Now the sideburns. There, this is looking good actually. I'm liking this new, this experimental drawing style. Uh, well, that's a good first layer. I'm gonna add a paper over it now. Or maybe I'll have the head turning a little bit. Uh, this might be a little different than the story of Trey style. <laughs> this is a lot different. I feel like I could have animated it more as a turn. It's kind of the same thing. I'm taking that one out. And then the eye can be right here. Yeah, it's looking more turned and animated. I like that better. Now I'm gonna go like this ear right here. That rhymed. I like that. This is looking kind of cool. I have to add the body. I'm just gonna draw the torso. Okay, I'm not gonna draw the legs. I'm just gonna use the body. A collared shirt. This is looking a lot different. I like this though. So if you have trouble drawing hands, you can do a circle. Circles can help you draw hands a lot easier. So you can use that circle as the palm and it just helps you flesh out what the hand will look like. So I'm gonna make my pupils like this. It looks weird right now, but when it's colored, I think it will look better. I am gonna add the mouth movement. So I'm gonna start with A. And then I can do one for like E. I'm gonna make it like he's smiling. So like that, nope, that, that teeth isn't really good. C sound. Fing it up. I did not mean, okay, whatever. O and O and L, O, M. Now I'm gonna get onto the inking. Now, I'm gonna get on to the inking. I'm gonna use a smaller pen 
Usually when I do the story of Trey characters, I use a fatter pen, but this is going to be more detailed, so I'm use a smaller pen. Now, I'm going to get on to the coloring. Now, I'm going to get on to the coloring. I'm using a software called Adobe Illustrator. Hey look, it's our old thumbnails. Focus your camera, why are you so blurry? There we go. That looks better. Now I'm going to get on to the coloring. You cannot cult manipulate this photo by itself. Like you can't draw on it, you can't take out the background. So what you have to do is go to Image Trace, and then I'm going to go Black and White Logo, and then you have to go to Object Expand. And now I can take out this background. I'm going to zoom in to me. My skin is... I'm going to go to my libraries. I have a lot of colors that I saved here. Let's see, does this color look okay? No, no. No, it should be this one. This one looks more natural. And now my hair. No, it's like a dirty blonde. I think that's the color. There. I think that looks actually pretty good. Very important. When you export it and put it into your files for the project, and you want to have it as like a transparent background, you don't want to have it as a JPEG. You want to have it as a PNG. That will make the background transparent. So I'm just going to export that. My hair is getting tremendously long. File, export as. My eyes are kind of a greenish brown, greenish blue. And eyebrows. File, black and white logo. Okay, object, expand, Mungo. What color should I make the shirt? Maybe I'll make it like a... Uh, that color. I'm just gonna go with that color. And I can make the collar a little lighter. I'm making lots and lots of progress. Now, I'm gonna get onto the animation. Welcome to Feast Studios, an outlet for the creative. Ah, uh, maybe I could say that, or maybe I could say... Now, I'm gonna get on to the animation. Now, I'm gonna get on to the animation. I'm gonna drag the audio file I made. So first, I'm gonna add a layer for the background. I'm just gonna use this blue background. I'm just gonna take that, go like bam. Now, I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna add my torso first. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm gonna be like, woo. I'm gonna make it a little bigger right there. Arm. And I'm gonna asset warp to it so it can bend. Right there, to there, to there. And now his arm can bend. I'm gonna move that to the front. And now I'm gonna add his pupils in another layer in his mouth. That might work really well. Oh, I kind of like that. So now I can zoom that in. Oh, this might look really cool. Oh, I like this new art style. I don't, I'm just experimenting, but it's looking really cool. Oh, I like this. Yeah, this is, looks cool. I'm gonna keyframe it. So I'm gonna take the head turning a little bit, head side. I'm gonna move it maybe like right there. This is looking really nice. I'm actually really impressed with myself on this. I'm gonna have to charge my camera. It was full this morning and now it's at nine minutes. I started adding some mouth movements, but then I realized I needed blinking. So I opened Illustrator and took out the face, but I did keep the eyes so I could add blinking within them. Now, after drawing it, inking it, coloring it, 
and animating it, this is what I came up with. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Feast Studios, an outlet for the creative. Thank you for watching that video. We have animation tutorials, media tutorials, cartoons, films, and music. Stay tuned for our next video tomorrow, which is a skateboarding video with Story of Trey. Have a great day, and stay tuned for more content. Peace, tunes.